try that. Hi everyone and um, welcome again to yet another episode of Ravi's World. I, um, I believe this is the 8th episode. So here's the thing. For everyone who has watched every single episode, here's a big hug from me. Thank you. Thank you. So it's much appreciated. Today I'm here at Western Springs, a place called Duck Pond. It's a great place for picnics, entertainment, and if you want to go out for a walk, if you want to have a romantic lunch with the other half, or even dinner. So it's going to be a fun filled event actually trying to shoot this. So hopefully we'll have some fun. A lot of the times at Western Springs they tend to have um, concerts and big events. I think uh, Big Day Out was done here as well if I'm not wrong. There's a Polynesian festival that tends to be held here every year and it's getting bigger and bigger. New Zealand being a country with such a diverse culture is one of the events you want to come to. The food is brilliant and so are the entertainment. All the Pacific Island themes and the culture is uh, exhibited. I wasn't sure what I was going to talk about while I was driving here. As with most of my episodes, I, they're not scripted. I just tend to talk about whatever comes to my mind while I'm shooting. And um, while I was driving here from home, I thought about happiness. I think we all exist in this world to be happy. Don't you think everything that we do? I think I talk, mentioned this briefly previously, maybe. How do we do that? You turn the TV on, there's murder, there's robbery. There are very few stuff that we see on TV that can be of positive value. I'm not saying there aren't any, there are, but most of them are fairly negative. I tend to find that anyway. Don't judge me, don't judge me. This is just my opinion, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's just what I get on my TV at home. I believe happiness resides in us. When we start thinking less of ourselves, and more of others. Happiness is about giving, isn't it? Making others happy, not just yourself. And when you tend to do that, you yourself find that happiness in you. I'm not saying don't do things for yourself. Of course, you've got to love yourself. The more you do, the more satisfied you feel. A happy person is that person who's satisfied with what they've done. Seeing the smile on someone's face, um, when you've done something for them, or uh, seeing someone, someone sending you a card and saying thank you, you made me smile. You know, um, these are the kind of things um, that makes you happy. You know, sometimes we we'll lose sight of that, and we're like, oh, I'm always doing these things, and I'm happy, but I lose it again. How do, how do I stay happy? You know, another key factor to what keeps you happy is learning to forgive and letting go. Uh, it, sometimes it's the little things that, that we hold a grudge on that kick you off and it's sad because you come back to it and you realize that oh my gosh it was such a small thing I wish I had seen it a lot earlier or maybe I can reconcile it's never it's never too late to reconcile I'm not saying forget you can't forget if someone has hurt you you cannot forget but you can forgive them you know you have a choice um, and you tend to find that when you're letting go and you forgive, you have less stress and you're a lot happier. Because when you forgive, it's, you're not forgiving for that person, you're actually doing it for yourself. And the benefits of being happy are medically proven. Happy people have less sickness, happy people tend to live longer, and they tend to um, enjoy life a lot more, so why not? When you look at people who are stressed, they have health problems, they're always grumpy, a lot of negativity. Oh, why would you want that? Would you? I wouldn't. Uh, you know, they cause problems. So, happiness is something that we need to strive towards with all so much happening in this world. Um, I think that is something much needed almost as much as love. Love brings happiness. So we kind of work together on that. Uh, a happy person does not just bring benefit to their own self, but to those around them. It's the aura that they give out <laughs> around those that they are. Uh, 
and these people just gravitate towards them. But here's a little trick. This is try this, okay? And I'm sure it's gonna work because uh, <laughs> it's kind of personal, but I tend to do it myself sometimes, okay? Um, you know, sometimes you wake up in the morning and gosh, I can't believe I'm sharing this. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, what the hell? Get up in the morning and think of something that you love, okay? That you totally love. It could be anything. Oh my god, no, I'm reading thoughts. Some of them are a bit extreme. Oh, oh dear. Okay, how extreme it is, it's entirely up to you, okay? It could be anything. Anything, okay? Just get a bit thought in your head. Relax. Breathe deeply. Just lie down. Just lie down. Don't get out of bed. Make this, if it's a weekend and you're not working, chill. Just lie down. Visualize yourself there, okay, doing that stuff, whatever it is. Actually, it may not be a sport, it could just you be sitting at a beach, or you having a chat with your loved one, or you, you know, anything, anything, okay, it doesn't have to be physical stuff, to be honest. Um, so, just push, lie down, visualize in your bed, you're doing it, and I, I know sometimes it's very hard to get your mind cleared. You to, that's the first thing, to learn to clear your mind, visualize it clearly. And then, if it's a moving thing physically, move your body, okay. Not too extreme, you don't want to chew with someone, you don't want to, you might want to explain to them what you're doing prior, so they don't get all nervous. Um, and so, you know, your body might move, for example, if I'm running and I'm visualizing that I'm running and, you know, your hands kind of move, the feet kind of move, I can visualize the trees, the fresh air, the birds, just breathe all that in. Um, and then your body moves, it's a bit extensive, and you're just getting this endorphins being released out of your body. Now, as you do that, I want you to just not move your body anymore. Keep your body still and internalize that without moving any, any part of your body. Practice this. Practice this over and over. Make sure it's something that makes you happy until you start to get a smile on your face. Okay, do this for at least 15 minutes. I tell you, I guarantee you, when I get, by the time you're done and you get out of your bed, you're gonna have a smile on your face. Then you're gonna spring out of bed and you're gonna have a good day. It doesn't have to be in the morning. It can be any time of the day. So in the meantime, practice being happy. Or if you're a happy person, even happier. You need more of that in this world, okay? So, hey, thank you for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this beautiful New Zealand park and reserve that I'm bringing out to you. And there are some more beaches. So, um, yeah, take care, guys, and uh, please provide me with more feedback. And I hope you guys have a fantastic day, night, evening, wherever you are in this time zone. <laughs> Be yourself. Bye.